Shaw Center, home of one of the Vernon Vipers' top rivals, the Salmon Arm Silverbacks. It's also the site for game one of a home and home series between the two teams. And the rivalry will likely heat up a bit more after former Viper coach and GM Troy Mick, now with the S-backs, added two popular faces from the Vernon Vipers to his payroll. Joining the Silver and Black are longtime Viper scout Larry Black and former Vipers captain Kevin Kraus. You know, I always look at it that you're always looking for great people and great programs attract great people. And, you know, Kevin Kraus having played there, Eric Goddard from there, uh, Larry Black being from there. I mean, things happen in hockey for a reason and we're just very happy that we're able to take those guys, keep them in the league and benefit Sam and Arm because, you know, if we bring Sam and Arm back to where it is, I mean, obviously it's going to be a real good rivalry again and it all starts tonight. For Larry Black, not having his contract renewed by the Vipers in the offseason came as a bit of a blow. It stung a bit. I mean, this is an RBC year. Um, I've been to the Royal Bank Cup three times before with Vernon. Obviously, we won it twice. We got the silver medal once. And, uh, you know, you don't always get to a Royal Bank Cup. And, uh, you know, so I was looking forward to it this year, but uh, it wasn't to be. So uh, uh, I'm very, very happy with my new position here in Salmon Arm. And uh, I look forward to good things. Meanwhile, his son Kevin, who had also helped his dad recruit for the Snakes, decided to stay on. You know, coming out from, from his uh, shadow a little bit, um, I feel an extra burn in the belly. I feel, um, you know, like I can make a better name for myself maybe. Um, and not because uh, he wouldn't let me, but because he was, was so good at what he did. And, um, you know, he, he's got so much respect around and, and, and I respect him so much. but. I think now there's there's that little extra uh, maybe pressure to to prove that um, that it wasn't just Larry and his son that that I'm actually a, a scout as well. He works for Vernon. I work for Salmon Arm, and that's where it is. And uh, we're going to coach a midget team together in in Vernon this year. And uh, I'm sure he'll be wearing his uh, Vernon Vipers track suit, and I'll be wearing my Silverback track suit. So it's all good. It's just good competition and uh, I'm excited for him as much as I am for myself. For Kevin Krause, who coached in the KIJHL last year, it was an opportunity to move up the coaching ranks. You know, it was kind of something hard to pass up to work with, you know, a guy like Troy Mick, who's, you know, a really good recruiter and has a history of winning. You know, it was kind of hard to pass up, but, you know, I would have liked to get a bit more, you know, learning the, in, down in Junior B, but, you know, it was an opportunity that I don't think would be come around too often. So, you know, at the end of the day, I decided to come to Sam Nunn. And while neither team will openly admit it, each has strong reasons to want to win tonight's game. Just match their intensity, simplify our game, get pucks in deep, play the team, lots of jump, lots of life on our bench. What do they do in their D zone? Collapsing. Collapsing. A ton collapsing. And then they stay in there, they stay down there together. So let's make sure we're using our D. D, get yourself vocal out there, let them know you're open. Drag that sucker in between the dots and let's hammer it home on the net. Let's be alert, let's be jumping. Um, every time we get on the ice, let's go. We got four lines, 60, everybody's gonna play. We're just gonna roll line after line on the same thing. I haven't seen much one-timers yet. Let's use it, get ourselves set up, bump it back, get yourself set up for another one time. Was that not blocker? Hey, sexy! Dex, that last one was too long, eh? That was too long. Yeah. Your last two shifts, it was two and one. Tammy, good job there. Okay, you guys have had 
everything around the net and I'll put it in the back of it. After 60 minutes, the Salmon Arm Silverbacks walk away with a big win, leaving the coaches to address their teams before rematch tomorrow night in Vernon. You play like that for 60 minutes, good things are going to happen. We didn't cut corners, we never quit, we persevered, and we just beat the team that I love to beat. Gentlemen, when that happens, I'm in a good mood. It's just got to be that absolute want, that absolute compete, each and every night. That's what we're looking for. Some guys are taking the pucks in the net, driving hard, but then their line mate's like, oh look at that, that's pretty cool. Some guys might have played with f***ing eggs in their pants and they didn't break one of them. We're right back at it against these guys tomorrow, so let's try and get out of here as quick as we can. Hey, we just got to make sure we're getting better each and every day. Next time on Building a Champion, Road to the RBC. After losing in Salmon Arm, the Vipers look for revenge on home ice. And players have one-on-ones as more cuts are made at the end of preseason. You know what, there's a, there's a lot with your game that we absolutely love. Um, you're a kid that I think the sky's the limit.